Hey, and welcome to MCR Bot Builds for New Builders. In this episode, we'll be looking at electronic speed controllers, or ESCs, for your robot drives or weapon motor. ESCs are electronic circuit boards that control the speed of an electric motor as directed by an input, say from a throttle, joystick, or some manual signal. An ESC can provide braking and reversing if programmed to do so. ESCs are generally rated by the maximum current they provide to a motor, and for combat robots, broken into two branches, brushed ESCs and brushless ESCs. Brushed ESCs are for controlling brushed motors, using the signal input to control and regulate the power to the joined brushed motor. A brushed ESC has two wires to the motor. A brushless ESC, on the other hand, is for controlling a brushless motor. And just like a brushed ESC, they use the incoming signal to control the output, but the output is used to control the switching of the motor phases by powering each of the coils. A brushless ESC has three wires to the motor rather than two, like the brushed. And remember that a brushed ESC won't work with a brushless motor, and a brushless ESC won't work with a brushed motor. Once you know if you need a brushed or brushless ESC, the next main item is the ESC current rating, and this is the maximum current that can be provided to the motor. When choosing a motor, note the maximum or stall current of the motor. The stall current is the amount of current the motor draws if powered fully but not allowed to spin. The ESC chosen should be able to deal with roughly 120% or more of this maximum current. So if a motor has a stall current of 8 amps, then use at least a 10 amp ESC. Both brushed and brushless motors can have a forward, brake and reverse. This could be for driving and controlled by moving your throttle back and forth. But the ESCs have to be programmed for it. So if you're using the ESC for driving, then check when purchasing that the ESC has forward and reverse available, and if it has already been set up with these options. Some ESCs, and especially brushless ESCs, have installable software to set up the ESC for driving and certain speeds, etc. An example of an externally programmed app is BL Heli32 and BL Heli S, which have a neat piece of software and run in conjunction with a specialized programmer, or instead a configured Arduino which then gives you access to a range of settings. For a weapon motor, you normally don't need to be able to move forward and reverse using your throttle, so selection is a little easier. Brushless ESCs generally default to only a single direction, so just choose the appropriate current and make sure the motor is spinning in the direction you want. If you wish to reverse the direction of the motor, then this can be done via software settings if you have access, or by the transmitter, but even the simplest way is to reverse two wires in the brushed ESC or in a brushless motor reverse just two of any three wires of the brushless ESC. Many ESCs include a BEC or battery eliminator circuit. This is handy as an ESC BEC typically provides 5 volts in the same connector as the ground and signal from the receiver. This means that the receiver can be powered by the ESC BEC rather than having to introduce some other 5 volt input to the receiver. But be warned, be careful to only power your receiver from a single BEC or single ESC. Powering the receiver from more than one BEC can end in a smoky melted mess, and we really don't want to let that smoke out. Let's have a closer look at this problem. Both of these ESCs have a BEC, and you can see this as each ESC has a red power line. This would mean if they are both plugged in, then both ESCs are supplying individual power to the receiver. So unless there are electrical protections built in, this can lead to bad things. So, plugging in the second ESC in. Okay. Oh dear God, not again. As always, the suggestions are just that. Suggestions, guides to start from, and all the details are included at the bottom of this video. The description contains a table of a range of ESCs that would suit 
150 gram bot class, beta weight class, and a few suggested ESCs for some featherweights. So that's all we have for this episode. Don't forget that all the details of the options are documented below. Please check out our other episodes, including an introduction to transmitters and receivers. Thank you for watching, and see you in the arena.